right, sir. Play bird song, please. Right, sir. Level two. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Mr. Wolf. Um, hope you're all ready. Do a bit of melding. Bit of melding. Sorry, I forgot my scissors. Hope you're all okay. So what do I need today? Remember, we did. We said it was going to work. So I've got a scrap piece of paper, although black card, from, there's no scrap paper with black card, is there? I've got a few bits and bobs of stuff I've done. Um, a few. That's a ridiculous thing to say, a few. I've got more than a few. Um, so remember, we're going to get old books. We're going to get old work that we've done. I can't find it all, so, oh my goodness me, I love that. Um, and some of these are beautiful, really like them. So, I've got some look parts of things, and um, you've seen some of the drawings for these as well, which is this one, and I've got, I've got bits and bobs all over, it all depends on what I'm doing, and areas of that I quite like there's areas in here that I quite like some that are really dodgy but some are all right I really like this one I'd like that as a stamp it's a nice sign to it oh let's have a low let's have a low what the blooming heck does that mean right let's have a quick shifter who's in who's in room hello Sue hi Karen hi Sue hi Jenny Thelma, hello lovely, I hope Michael's okay. Um, Pearl, my lovely friend Pearl, she's like, she is like my whiz, she's my whiz. Um, she's wonderful. You, I wouldn't have had the website or anything without that lovely lady. She's just absolutely amazing at what she does. Well, she's an amazing lady. So I've got a case of card pair of scissors, I've got my pens, oh, right, okay, shouldn't have done that, I've got my pens, what is going on with me today, um, I can tell you, I'm waiting for a phone call, so if I disappear, it's a very sad phone call, so I'm waiting for it now, um, there's nothing I can do, so I'm hoping that this helps me through it, with you, um, there's nothing I can do, Apart from be here with you. So if I get upset, please ignore it. No pity, please. No pity. You don't want anything. I just had some very bad news. Right. So, piece of paper. Oh, so, hi, Tracer. Hi, Linda. Um, piece of paper now when you're cutting this um, piece of paper you don't need to fix to a, a certain shape or anything you can rip it tear it I'll rip it um, I always just fold it in half or you can fold it in four or whichever you want you know just fold it in four like that I'll show you what I mean and you can rip it um, but it's a bit harder to rip like that so So just rip that off and we've got that you know that ruggedy old which I quite like if you don't like that then I suggest you just cut a little square now this is quite surprising when you do this how big this actually comes up this look a bit now I do find it's really important um, oh don't you'll set me off if you want Oh, me right so this square here is what I'm going to focus on and the reason I do this is because we get lost with all the other stuff um, so what you want to do is be able to concentrate on one area 
and not look at the other areas because it just it, it clarifies what you need to do and how you need to do it so I've got some light drawings I've done here they're not great I've got a piece of paper and I'm looking for areas on my drawings now oh Moodle on the wall Moodle on the wall so it doesn't have to be one drawing you can mix it all and swap and change it okay so the next thing is you've got to decide on your paper now today I'm going to use some mixed media paper um, you can use your writing paper or anything you want it's entirely up to you what you want so I've got this this mixed media paper really thick so if I'd have been working this weekend I'd have been down there because my auntie lives down near Peterborough um, I'm not so anyway so double double whammy there um, if anyone is interested in um, having somebody who's really good with websites and, and stuff like that and media then Pearl's the woman she's very very reasonable um, in fact I don't think she charges enough but that's not nothing to do with me is it um, but she's very 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 amenable and you know considering it's nine hours away she's always around for me um, so yes and um it's a it, it's really i spoke to her yesterday they've i lose count it's really amazing to think that i can sit here and talk to people like her never met her before um and she's in the other side of the world it's just amazing so what i've done is i've got a little concertina and you can make these as big as you want, little as you want. Now, if you go to my Patreon page, I've got a great little, um, excuse me, it's an itch. I've got a great little um, template on there for my patrons where we're going to make um, a concertina book for quotes. Um, and it's going to be an ongoing thing throughout the year. So if, if you are a Patreon, all the templates are there. It's worth having a look at that it's you know supporting me to carry on doing this free stuff is would be amazing so i'm going to look for highlighted parts so what i'm going to do is i am not i'm looking at that now and i'm thinking it is an oblong but does it need to be a little bit more to fit i think i will just do it a little bit more so you've got to remember which side your oblong is so it's this way i think so i'm just going to take a little bit now remember I'm cutting through four pieces so it's going to be a different size when I cut it now this represents my page that's better so that represents that bigger okay now how do we transfer drawings it's so easy let me just show you I've got a big piece here so I'm getting this here like that so I've got that area there okay now it might be a bit detailed but that area within that space represents that area so for instance let me get something a bit simpler that's a bit crazy to try and draw so oh, flipping heck come on with this it's a little bit easier than that got, oh here we go these will do um, so get that there oh for crying out loud right so we've got that bit there so when I'm drawing can you see here I've got the lines right so I know that here would you believe it right you don't need to do this but I've put four little marks on there so those four little marks are where it goes up and down in and out that's it there like that 
Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do is transfer it on here. So it just makes sense once you see it. So I'm going to move that, move that, get rid of that, get rid of that, have that page there ready, get my page ready here so you can see everything. Are we all ready? Are we okay? Right, so I'm going to draw that. So where that square is up here, it's uh, trying, uh, oblong is, it's there. So you'll get what I mean in a minute. So you can draw a border if you wish. Um, to give yourself, but I'd like to con continue it, you see, but it, it really doesn't matter what you want to do. So I'm looking at that now and I'm going to go round and it comes all the way down to the bottom. And then we've got one, two, three, and then we've got here. Right. Now this is just one to show you, it's not the best, but it doesn't matter. But can you see how now, I'll draw it in pen, and I'll swap it over. So, you need to just fold that over again, sorry guys. That's better. Right, okay, so we've got the wobbly bit in there. And we're just looking at that there and that. It doesn't have to be perfect because it, it, you sort of, this is what we call abstracting. It's when, think of the word abstract, it's similar to subtract, subtract. And that means take away, doesn't it? So, or remove. So, subtract, abstract, quite similar. It means to take away. That's how I remember it. So if I look at that now, that's that area done there. But I've enlarged it. I just made it bigger. It should be that way. Like that. So then you've got one area done there. And that's how we're going to go now. Hi Val. Brilliant. Right. So mucky mucky paper. Oh, I don't want to carry on with that. I'm not. Oh. Yes, I'm on. Somebody's just asked me if I'm on. <laughs> Maybe I yeah, I'm all on, I'm all on. Right. So, let's have... I don't want to do it bigger. Right, no, I'm just going to go for it. I just need to go for it. Right, so I'm going to use this one. So, you can do whatever size you want. If you want to do a bigger version than this or a smaller version, it's entirely up to you. I just like little small drawings to seem to make me, um, they just really, I really like them, that's all. So I'm going to use a bit of this and I'm just going to go for it. So remember that it's longer than it is. Yes. Hi, Dawn. Oh, thank you. I think it's the teaching you've got to be able to sort of just go into it and just think right you've got to teach you've got to be able to come up with something interesting not just um not just um what's the word interesting you've got to understand it you know there's no point in waffling on about a load of stuff if you don't actually get it there's nothing worse than that so i'm looking at this pattern you get your pattern get your viewfinder on and I'm going to go. So if you want to follow my pattern, absolutely fine. You just follow my pattern. If you want to do your own, absolutely fine. It's all good. It's all gravy. Now, I've only just heard that, so I don't know what it means, but oh, it's gravy. It's gravy, isn't it? So I'm going to do four drawings and I'm hoping to get some colour on or might put some detail on. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw. And I'm drawing so that I can continue it. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you just see here, I've got a bit here coming over. So I'm going to draw. Now, it's strange this, but I like to have a, a, a guideline around it. It's just 
me just me i like to do that you don't have to do that there's no way it says it i'm going to use my big pencil i've put some details on the thing for you about where to find your stuff if you wish so starts there so comes to there in fact i'm gonna go straight in with my pen so you can see it i think i'll go in with an eight and then we'll just go straight into the action so no mistakes right so we've got that one there we've got that there that there I know it don't look exactly the same but you know Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt and then we've got those two lines there so we've got that that so okay I really like this abstraction because I can really just sit and chill so I'm going to put some lines here and I'm being quite neat with them now because I'm, I'm, um, how can I put it I really need to be mindful today I really need it oh I hope you're alright Philippa hello 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 Michael I hope you're alright so all you lovely lovely people it's weird it? no it's not weird you know you're waiting for it's very private this but you're waiting for some heartbreaking sort of news and then how how do I, I care to spend it I'd rather be here doing this with you because it's going to make me feel better I, I think that's testament to everybody here including myself that we feel safe enough to be able to just sit and chill and be with the moment so I'm just oh I'm glad you like that Becca I'm just loving what you're doing with your work and we need to see Philippa get your uh... thank you Tracy um, Philippa we need to see some of your bears we need to see all your work guys so I've got one there and it's just gone out but it's, it's only a little line there so let's look at something else can I join it and I'm looking for something to join there so you know oh perfect look at that one let's move it up right so I've got like a looks like a boob there so I'm just going to draw it in like that Oh, wait till you see the inks I've got. Oh, I've been doing calligraphy and everything with him. I've also been doing the most amazing things. I mean, the producer phoned me the other day, uh, texted me to see if everything was all right for the show. And I showed her. And she's like, oh, I love him, I love him. So can't wait to show you. Right, okay, so we're joining the lines up now. They don't have to be perfect. Can you see? I'm getting what we call... What do you mean, are you allowed? Of course you are. Of course you're allowed to. Want to see what you do. Right, so we've got that bit there. And then we've got here, it's... Like a triangle thing, like that. And then... I know some of you will be choosing not to do this. And that's fine because that's your choice some people may wish to do another picture 
to follow me it doesn't matter you do whatever you want right so here we've got this here and I'm going to need some work in there but we're just taking little snippets of and I'm going to continue that there just to give it a little bit of continuity so here can you see it looks a bit shot off can you see it looks a bit daft so what you can do here is just continue your pattern to bring your pattern together is she allowed to l a double l o w isn't it not a l o u d that's noise isn't it sound right so let's look for another one what do all my stamps these um so let's look maybe not that one maybe this one because i think, it, I think you've seen this one so we've got the next one here maybe i have to get them all done you know more um this is section so this is quite good this to do it with so i'm just going to pop that in there so the next section i'm looking at it's like that so i can see that this pit pit this bit here sorry <laughs> i just feel like you know can we keep what i said between ourselves because where was it i don't want i only want my friends anyway so can you see that that shape is very I had it there into like that it comes off there so what we can do is see I don't think there's anything better than this Listen, I don't worry about words. It's just in case you said aloud what, and I didn't know what you meant. Um, words are words. If you can understand them, great. You say them how it, well, depending, unless they're really dodgy words. Um, so here, I've got a line that's coming across here. And a line coming across here. Oh yeah, the inks. So yeah, they're um, Dr. Martin PH Iridescent Calligrapher. Oh my word. Oh, secret stuff. Hey Jane, I've been doing all my secret stuff. Here, I'm going to continue this down here. Can you see how you can just, from your own, I'm not going to, uh, it, it'd be like, I'll show you in a bit. <laughs> show you in a bit. Oh yeah, Becca, have a go. It's so rewarding because you don't have to think of patterns. They're already there and you've got to just get on with it. And it's like, wow. So here, I'm looking at this and it goes. And because you've already drawn it, it's actually yours. So you can't do it wrong. Like that. And then it sort of disappears there and then so on this one we've got my three dots and then we've got um maybe a wobbler line in there and anything that's got a pattern in it and you're missing so like here we could continue with that do you get me just to continue it all the way around i'll show you what i mean it is so can you see now it's it's so really what i could do is that is not and that's annoying me so what I would do is get 
get me? It looks better now because it's continuity. I need to do something in here to take your eye off that. I like this here. This is cool. So let's look for another bit that I've got. Um, see that? I don't want anything like that. Oh, dots. No, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I do like that. Right. No, I'll do this one. Right, so let's look at the last one. And I quite like this here. But I've got to be careful because is there a line that, or is it not? You know what I mean? Is, do, do, if I have that there, can you see that line will work with that? So then that means like that. And I'm just going straight in with the pen, so nearly had an accident last night. I nearly had a bit of a a misnomer last night. Yeah. Well, shall I tell you? Yes. Well, you're gonna know anyway. I had um, we just uh, nip to shopping because it was we weren't too late, but it was getting we we, we needed some stuff and I, and I went up the step. We got home. I don't even know why I'm telling you that bit. Um, we got home and I went upstairs after and I, I was dying for the loo, dying, dying, dying for the loo. And I just ran up the stairs and I had one leg in, in my pyjamas and one leg out of my pyjamas in the trousers I'm taking off, or pants as I call them. So I had one in and one out of both and uh, with and, and, and the toilet and the spider, a massive spider, must have been about six foot tall came running across the floor so I tripped over both sets of pants but I didn't hurt myself and I nearly had a little accident but I didn't but yeah oh it's massive I tell you what it was that big I could see his eyelashes massive and uh, I kept trying to get him to go away but he was honestly he was like put him up put him up like that to me like the lion out of Wizard of Oz I tell you what shocking big massive so he's in there he's gonna eat any any other little tit for tats in there so i can let him stay but yeah so in in and out of my blooming trouser legs oh tell you what i look like houdini honestly terrible terrible there we go right now what do you reckon to that Oh, hello, Amanda! Amanda, Amanda, Amanda! Hello, darling. Dawn! Oh, I know, Denise. I know. Could have had a little puddle. So, here, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. Well, can you see how your pattern now has completely changed? Um, you... I'm not going to worry about does it work or not because it's not like that you, you're actually um what's the word you sort of amalgamating patterns so whether they work or not has no bearing on it because it's an abstract piece there we go so i put a little board around it like that um and it's quite a large area i hope did you enjoy that Thank you. So now I'm going to look at some patterns that are going to really increase the... Uh... Hi, Helen! I'm going to increase the pattern and um, forms in here so that we've got a bit, little bit more 
interest because otherwise it's a bit boring. So I'm going to use a smaller pen. I'm going to use a 3.5 and I'm going to go with some of my other patterns. So, oops, that's my gigs. Um, I've got some great little patterns in here. And I'm not doing these patterns. I'm looking for patterns. Um, oh, I'm so glad. I met Amanda at Crate and Craft ooh, a couple of months ago now. And such a lovely lady. Such a lovely lady. Very, very, very nice and complimentary. She must have thought I had some money. But I don't have any dosh. Um, I'm glad I'm working actually. Love my neck. So I'll put three dot away. Hang on. Right. So I put three dots across there. Three dots across there. I hope you're seeing this okay. Cause I, I, I moved you back a little bit. Oh, Brenda, Linda, hello, lovely. So here, let's look at changing this now. So I'm going to take the emphasis off that shape. Can you see it's dodgy there because it wasn't smooth enough. So I'm going to change the emphasis. And all I've done is put that there. Now it completely changes it. Does that make sense? Can you see how different that looks now? See what I mean? That looks well dodgy, doesn't it? But now I've put that in, I can bring in this flower bit. How do I do that? Really easy. You just, it's like a crown. So if I was to draw, I'll draw it on the back. It's really easy, this pattern. It's fantastic as well when you use it. So here's a big, there's the, there's the like circle bit. You leave, leave a gap and you're almost putting another line. And all you do is wibble, wibble, go down. And then it's a slight, triangle but not a big one see and you can put wibble wibbles in there or wibble wibbles or not wibble wibbles so it's a very easy pattern you can so I'm going to use this pattern so and it's I'm going to react like it's it's continuing Yes, you can do it on anything. We used to do it on pop art. It was brilliant on pop art because we'd just take elements of like Liechtenstein or um, herring, anything, and, and just adapt it. It was brilliant. Now here, I've made that a little bit bigger. So what I'll do with this one is just put, see, there's always an answer, always. Now, zigzag, this is really chilling me out. It's brilliant. I'm so pleased. Right, can you see how that dodgy flower shape there now is moving away? Now, if you've got a white pen, wait for it to dry. I've got about 20 and one or two work. Wait for it to dry and then take some of the, the black lines out a little bit need a bit more time to dry and it doesn't look as heavy now yeah get me yay look cheats right so here we're going to do some nice simple line dot line and then we're going to go diagonal enjoy doing this circle line circle I love these pens I'm going to try and get them imported um, because you just can't get them here so expensive but they're just brilliant and really fine nib tiny fine nib it's a 3.8 or 3.5 nib which is brilliant so here we're going to leave these and leave them there i think there's enough on there yes surf, that's exactly what it is surface pattern yep yeah, that's it that's exactly what it is becca so 
I'm just extending this here. I'm going to look for elements that I could put in here. And I think maybe this... No, is that too near? Yep, yeah, it's too near. So I won't use that. What I might do is... See this pattern here? Like a lolly stick. and leave that there I might just put my continuity pattern there oh tell me about it tell me about it Carol here I'm just going to put a little bit of a A line there just to give that a bit of a finish here I'm just going to put that in there so there's some continuity there. I quite like these circles but I didn't do them very well with the other pen so I'm going to do them with this pen a bit neater like that and we've got these nice um, da oh see here this ended here on this fold can you see so it ended there on that fold but what I want to do is continue it I hope um, this does give you ideas about how you can create pattern um, from your own stuff um, it's very easy to do I'm going to look at some of the patterns I've got here which are quite pretty um, Oh, I know. It's a fine pen, so I'm going to do some like checkerboards. So when I do checkerboard, I do the first lot, and if that's thin enough, I leave it. If it's thick enough, I leave it, or if it's not, I add to it. So I've got a double line, I'm going to put a single line in between. So we've got a form of tartan and you can colour it in if you wish. So here, let's look at this. So we might put just simple lines. I really enjoy forgetting stuff and just being able to sit and put um, simple lines and, and really enjoy drawing what I did there was I went over the lines a bit so oh yeah absolutely yeah it's great because you can enlarge it you can do anything um, so we've got these lines there I'm, I'm a bit annoyed at this one because it, it looks a bit scruffy so what I'm going to do is just do now and again like that get the, the odd colouring in um, so look at this now I've got that there um, let's go for diagonal every time I say that word I try not to say diagonal right so checkerboard you see here I don't like these lines here so what I'll do is there. I just put the circles on them to hide it so we've got different lines um, let's look at these now how, how else can we do them maybe a checkerboard going that way so a single line double Single, double, single, double, single. You get the idea. Should have worked. Single, double, single, double, and then I'll go this way. Single, double. You've been watching the stuff about the Queen. Oh, it's incredibly beautiful. 
I've been watching it and I've really enjoyed watching it. Um, whatever your opinions are, that's cool. I respect them. Um, but um, I've been, and she's incredibly beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. So, I don't even know how many people are in. I don't care though. But I don't even, it doesn't matter. Oh, we've only got 18 people in. Oh, I thought there was more than that. I'm losing it. Um, right, so we've got a little checkerboard here. So let's just do long lines. My dear, there's that many people doing lives now, isn't there? We've got some great ones. Sam did one the other night. Belinda as well. We've got another one. So, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. There's lots of people doing lives, like I say. Perfect. So, we've got another bit coming now. I'm going to look at maybe in there we could do. Yeah, I think so. In there, mind you, would it be too much work? No, actually. So, we'll just do one, two, three. Right, I'll bring it a bit closer and show you. Really simple. I've got, a, I've got a video for every day of the year, you know. Hey, you top my down as you lot. Yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not precious like that. I just think, um, it's a bank holiday, isn't it? Of course. So here, I'm going to put my three boobies, or whatever you want to call them, lumps, humps. Right, I put them everywhere. It could be staggered, they could be three, all the same size or three tiny ones so I'm going to look at this shape here um, yeah so pearls there now if you do want to know she's very very good she's helping me and, and and others and it's not for me to say who the others are because it's up to them to tell you but yeah she's highly recommend um the services very 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 good i am way of working things as well very easy to work with and very easy to understand which is even better because some of these you know strategies are really difficult to do on facebook so you need somebody who can, like an idiot's guide. That's what I need. No one else, not saying anyone else. Um, right, so we've got these flowers here and I need to make, I'm going to bring you down a little bit here because I've just, I know you're going to be out of focus now, but let's check. No, you're fine. Um, I'm just going to make the camera a bit bigger so I can see if you're a bit unfocused. No, you're fine. So let's have a quick look. We don't really need much here. I've put some fine lines there, but it's not necessarily to always put like something on the end of them. You can just have like veins, but I do like my little circles. And can you see how fine this pen is? Um, and when, if you if I meet you at Ditton, we're going to be doing something similar, but on parchment and it's um i've been working a few days on it and then at doncaster i'm going to be using some new stamps from paula what the inks have got and the fabrics have got from oakwood archer now yeah pretty pretty beautiful um right so we've got that now i think this has worked really well um are we out of focus or can you see me? Are you okay with this? Move it back up a little bit. Yeah, 
Oh, thank you, guys. Um, yeah, I was watching all of it. And then there's um, something on the TV. Can't remember whether it's just ordinary, you know, TV. Um, and it's, what was it? Called Windsor House of Windsor. Very good. Right, so I'm going to look at some other patterns. Do we need anything here? Do we need a colour? Um, do we need colour? Let's see. What time is it, Mr Wolf? Oh my goodness, look at the time. Wow, it's getting pretty good at this. It's getting pretty good. I'm going to have to get these out. Because I don't know where my others are. So I'm using the dollar da da Christmas. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Lawrence. Right. Right, so I'm gonna use some colours. Um these are prismas, these will snap on there. I did put them in the oven, but I've got to put them back in the oven just to not saying you can, just saying that sometimes that's what you do. So, I'm going to look at an area that I want green or turquoise, okay? So, I'll look at it. I think this bit here. So, I'm going to start with the lightest, okay? And I'm going to put a base down. And then I'm going to do that here. Now you'll notice that I do not sharpen these pencils. Because they break. See the Faber Castell? You haven't got that issue. They break, don't get me wrong, but they're not as fragile. These are very fragile. So I'm going over the little marks I've made. I'm just putting a base down. I will have to sharpen them at some point. It's ridiculous, but... I just want to put a base it's a bit like a primer really so there's me so i go to my next color if i mean i'm used to these now but you know when you're doing this you would have your little swatch with you to go over so i'm putting the color over half and half and then blending out but it's it still needs some work because it looks awful so you go back with your other pencil the first one see how that's blended now then back with this can you see now then I need to make sure I go back with that because if I don't I'm going to lose that nice fresh colour so we've got that there so I'm going to go a bit darker with this up there and I'm going to put the next colour on a little bit higher I think I might try it like that we'll see maybe not so put your colour down half and half but because you've already filled some of your paper or the tooth of your paper it's not as um, easy to sort of overdo it if you get what I mean right so now put this on quite a lot up there and then like that go back I've got the big light on today not the big light, the big light. Well, uh, the, yeah, the big light, the big light. You know, the circle light. Um, I've got the big light on as well. Oh, shut up. Living room light is the big light, if that makes sense. So here, just going to put a little bit of dark on it, just to bring... Because we call the living room, oh, well, I call the living room the big light. Some people may not call it that. Here's the next colour down just to give us a bit of depth. Like 
there you go can you see it's a bit too dark now now there we go so you go back in there we go much better now I know a lot of people don't didn't know that you can scrape it back but you can so I'm just going to put some dark color there and I'm really gonna really darken that off I've forgotten how much I love these pencils cream in here there we go so next color next I was watching a video right and it was um diver she was uh swimming in, in uh, she was um, a microbio uh, a marine biologist and she was snorkeling and the next minute this humpback whale comes starts playing with the well you know you get a smack off one of them fins you, you're knackered aren't you really so she was really worried and she was like really scaring her and she sort of the rest of the um the the boat that was, was there had to come and get to her and they were at risk of capsizing as well because you know the if she wanted to the whale could just say way up and get rid of her you know like that so anyway they they were they were trying to reach the diver anyway they did reach her and a second whale came and this is where it starts to get a bit scary and then the girls sort of like really getting worried now because two it's like an ambush but they're not known to hurt you humpback whales anyway they're like looking and saying they've never seen this baby before i think some of you may guess what's coming next you might have seen the clip but underneath this thing is it becomes a third one and it's not it's a tiger shark so they were actually the whales were saving her they were nudging her out of the way and i just thought wow how amazing is that so yeah she was being corralled by the humpbacks so that the tiger shark couldn't get near her and I was just wow and when she said that when um, she got on board the boat that she looked back obviously and the whale did another flip and then went but she said it she said she felt like she was sure that the whale looked at her before it dived down again amazing aren't the animals amazing right so we've got a nice bit of uh blend in there well uh -huh. did you linda yes I'm, yeah it's on reels i think isn't it i love it i love it because you just it's just so so bad though because you go on there and before you know it you've lost half your life oh yeah three hours later you're like where's it where have i gone here where have i gone wrong you know what i mean and just spent four hours watching reels so here i'm going to get some purples and i'm just going to pull the purples out now because um they're all mixed up as always i i don't tend to sort of worry too much like that i know philip is having a bit of a she's having a bit of a oh at the moment watching me do this but hey ho you know never mind so i'm looking at which bit i want to have um i'm looking at the color green and purples always look nice and that's what i do up here so i'm just going to go quite the very cream of these so with it being a mixed media paper and not watercolor it's got a very very not hugely rough 
tooth to it but it is quite a lot more than I mean you know you would normally have so what I'm doing is I'm putting a light into it first so it won't go too dark on it and I'm using um, I don't know what to call it light grey shading grey so I'm covering that there I'm doing more or less the same And I'm going to go back to the colour I had and then just darken that up. And just blend over it. And what I want to do is get a, a one pencil blend. I know I've put the other one on, but that's just the tooth as a paper. So I've got a pencil, but one pencil blend. And it's really satisfying because it's just all about taking the pressure off your pencil. Okay, and I'll go back now with the, the lighter colour just to blend it in. And you're almost burnishing the colour now. If I just finish this one and show it to you. Can you see the difference? I want to make this pop. So to make it pop, I'm going to use some yellow um, yellow and purple uh, opposite on the colour wheel so they're going to make each each other stand out the problem is though if some paints or some, some materials um, like acrylics um, if you mix while wet you'll get a really awful colour purple is one of the worst colours to try and mix but if you do it dry on wet that's much better can you see now give it that warmth really soft um, sort of glow to it now um, and then go back in I've got a darker purple and I'm just going to give the very edge a bit of a kick not too much because I don't want to get rid of that colour that we've got there but it's just this bit here you see yeah Philippa um no I'm using doo -doo -doo. I just grabbed it I'm sorry um oh I'm actually using what I've got on the show am I Fabriano, Fabriano. This is a mixed media Fabriano paper. 1264. Um, it's 300 grams. It's really heavy. Beautiful paper. It's mixed media paper, but you get a really nice finish. If you don't like that and you want to add more, wait till it's dry and then you can put a white. Uh, dry, sorry. Wait till it cures. Give it a minute or so. Rub it with your finger. Burnish it into the paper and then sometimes you know you're lucky enough to get a pen that goes sorry that wasn't my white it might it might not be burnished enough yet but you might be able to get the white pen to work on it so i've got that now what i'm looking at now is let's get um right i know i'm just going to do a, f a few i'm going to put some light here Blend down. And then I'm going to bring orange, a light orange first. I'm going to blend that over. Do it the same way. Like that. Oh, you can rub it out as well. Thank goodness. Certainly need to do that one here, don't I? So I've got some other oranges now and I'm just gonna go play with a bit of colour just to get a blend. So this is in between the light and the medium I've got. So we've got a nice glow. I'll go to the next one which helps me and then go back to my first one. It's back forth, back forth, you know, like like that and then go back to your next colour it's all about 
having the bottle to just keep trying layers don't don't do it all at once get your layers down and as soon as you start to do that you'll realize how easy shading is it seriously is easy it's proper easy it's not difficult at all um you just got to keep you know trusting yourself to go back and forth back and forth back and forth and if you've got a real oh, this might work there we go so line up your colors dark color here There we go. So we've got a pop colour now. No, um, I'll show you. This, Amanda, I always I do this. I've got some lessons on it as well on Etsy about colour and how to use colours. But I always use my colour wheel. Um, so if I look at the purple, so we look at the purple and match it up to, it could be either one. You see, if it's the violet, the opposite colours there. So if I went to red, it's green. You look at that arrow. So green. If I went to like a green, uh, like an orange red, it's like a blue green. That's why you get a, a pop of colour. It's the opposite. And then you've got split complementaries. So if I wanted a green, say a green, the two colours that would go with green, because there's a triangle, is orange, red and violet. Which is that. Get me? Oh, get it out. Get it out. Your, your paper, that is. Those people that don't know what I'm talking about. Carol's had a paper, she's not got it out. So... It's much easier to go light to dark, I think, personally. But there again, that's entirely up to you because it's preference personal. Personal, I'll just finish these and then we can do one. So can you say it looks dodgy when you start? Everyone says that to me. It doesn't look very good that when you start. You've got to trust the layers, honestly. all about building up the layers underneath because the colour will shine through then if, it, if you don't build it up the colour can't shine through it's like when you draw in something like I did those tip top things um, to get a dark red you don't just put black with it you can't it don't work you've got to build up the colours from underneath so you might start with oranges and all that and then it glows um, you start the other way you, People just think you had black to it. You don't at all. Never. Um, only very end for shadows or something. But yeah, you, you use a whole host of colours. See how I use light first and then go in with the dark. It just makes it easier for me. But it's not a ruler per se. It's whatever you do. Whatever you do. Get your bag of tools and then you know pick the right tool for the right job and off you go that's yours sorted and i'm gonna just now if you've got something like this area here do you want to darken it oh. sorry if i was playing up as well jaw's killing me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and i'm just going to put a little bit of a shade in it and i'm using like a plummy color is it mauve what color does that say mulberry so i'm using a mulberry on it N not for the mulberry color just to darken it so i still want it to look orange but i want it to look darker and this is as i'm saying to you now about the color you're not i'm not using it for the mulberry color i'm using it because it make the color darker can you see it's not mulberry now i'll do a little bit here a bit darker but that tiny bit of dark 
darker tone allows allows it to glow can you see i don't know if you can see it i'm probably talking a lot of rubbish here but never mind just ignore it so i don't know if you can see the two i i think there's a little bit more depth to them so yeah that's i managed to get through it no phone calls yet um now i'm on the telly tuesday no tuesday um and then thursday i met friday and saturday i met ditton with clarity woohoo and then doncaster on sunday and my feet won't hit the floor next week it's like the blooming buses all at once right so i'm gonna go over this with the red orange the ready orange one to, if there's any chance of it being a multi color um showing then this gets rid of it there we go now i can now it won't take any more the pencil has filled up the tooth won't take any more so now we've got quite a nice bit of depth there um we need something in because that's a bit pale and insipid now so i'm just going to bring a little bit of the yellower the warmer yellow into this just to show you the difference and then i'll bring the purple back up just to show you that that's a big difference to it if you don't want that in the middle scratch it off not like that though so i'm just going to add the warmer and then the darker so if you have a look a beautiful testimony from um tracy who bought the the new splats um if you would care to support me um to continue to do these free lives so um if you would consider you know allowing me to do that um i would really benefit from you becoming a patron if you can and um, so i can keep doing this um it's in my it's my intention it's not about anything else it's about me being able to continue the free ones um so yeah that's on my website lewithers.com and um yeah on there you'll find lots of different things um, some pictures we're going to have uh, Lou's Lovelies where we're going to feature wonderful artists and people off the group and I can't wait and we're going to have lots of offers and things going on so yeah I'm really looking forward to it with the help of Pearl uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to it so um, yes big difference carol big difference these are these are softer a lot softer um these are to me these blend a lot they blend very differently to the others very different pencils these you don't blend these the same way you do the others i can tell you that very different way of, who's been eating the end of that wow um yeah very very different pencils they're not the same at all um and you even have to shade differently with them i was gobsmacked seriously gobsmacked when i first i was like these aren't anything like those and they're not they're very different to my polychromos uh, very different so um all right if you go to lewwithers.com um there's uh you'll see at the top of the page it's got you know testimony it's got a bit about me it's about all the different things patreon or patreon whatever you want to call it and there's different sort of pages at the top you can go and see the work you can see the link there for the affiliates where i've got like a list at the back of this um or an amazon shop where you can see the products i've used 
um, and products that I can recommend. Um, but it's only a personal opinion. It's not, you know, I don't do reviews for anybody. So um, not yet. Anyway, I'd like to start doing reviews. So um, I won't be around next week, but um, I'll try if I can try and get one alive in at some point. Um, maybe Wednesday if I can. Um, but then I would be definitely back the week after. Or I'll do one on the Monday straight away. I'm home. Um, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, it's a bit... I don't like having time off. It's not right. I feel like I'm wagging it. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just next week. I've got one filmed. So I might just put that one out for you. Um you know so you can do one from that but the patrons will have theirs of course so right so what I've done now is I put the black pen over the top um, you can see this is a writing pen you can see how it goes on um, I've got some matte black ink coming on the show on Tuesday and some iridescent Lots of PH Martins, which is out of this world. I can't tell you. Oh, and I've got the bleed proof white ink. So those people who show when I show you the, the bleed proof ink, we've got it on the show. It's hard to get hold of as well. But yeah, it's a white paste for designers showing its best white pen there is. Um oh, thank you so much. But I'm not wagging it. So anyway, thank you for your time. Thank you so much for being here for me. Thank you for just putting up with me. Thank you for being part of the team. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it feels like I'm with my friends. So have a great rest of the weekend. And uh, yeah, and um, take care and be safe. And I will see you uh, next Monday. Okay, big love to everybody. Take care, everyone.